Indians is not exciting, no question. Being a black man is demanding. The fires in my eyes and the flames need fanning. The fires in my eyes and the flames need fanning. The fires in my eyes and the flames need fanning. What's up, guys? So, I wanted to talk about Trump's tax bill today. I ran across something on uh on uh Twitter that made me want to talk about this. And I think it's fairly important. We're working to give the American people a giant tax cut for Christmas. Um, because right after I listened to this report, I started connecting dots in my head. Now we all know that Trump pretty much ran his campaign on a platform of racism and white supremacy. You know, with, the, with everything he's done leading up to this point in his life and then some everything he continues to do to this day. So, what I wanted to say is that, Trump, that him and his administration, they're playing the American people. They're pimping the people, at least they're about to, especially with this tax plan. I've done videos with, with other senators, you know what I'm saying, grilling Trump's administration about the tax plan. Check those out. Well, Congress rushed to pass the bill by Christmas, and there was a big celebration at the White House. But the one thing Trump didn't do was sign the bill. And this wasn't one of those moments where he just forgot to sign. But, um, he's playing us. He's pimping us, and he's playing us. While white supremacists are fussing about their Confederate statues being taken down, and you know, wanting the right to shoot unarmed black people and people of color, period, because it's the American right to stand their ground or whatever. Whatever crazy fucked up things happening. Shit with the NFL, you no. Know, just just one thing after another. It's all a distraction. Because listen to what his tax bill is actually going to do. Right? If he signs it in. 2017 this year what's going to happen is excuse me there's going to be an extra one point trillion dollars added to the u.s deficit anyone trump ever owed money to knows that when he promises you something but postpones giving it to you there's a reason this bill adds over a trillion dollars to the deficit right 1.7 trillion dollars added to the u.s deficit so what they're going to do is they're going to cut funding from programs like Medicare, Medicaid, and things like that. $120 billion a program, I believe, right? Signing it in 2017 would force $120 billion in mandatory spending cuts to programs like Medicare starting in 2018. Now, these programs that the government funds, they fund it with taxpayers' money. So what do you think is going to happen to your taxes when that happens? Now, if he does that this year, 2018, is screwed. But remember, the primaries are in 2018. It's an election year. So they're going to wait. It's a strategy. Starting in 2018, an election year. Waiting until January means those cuts won't kick in until 2019. They're going to wait until after 2018 has started wait until after the election and then he's going to sign the bill you'll get a tax break this year right you'll see a little bit of extra money on your when you on your checks this year right which will probably prompt you to to continue to support the bad guy but in 2019 that's when all the cuts to the government programs are going to happen we also know from the Congressional Budget Office that this bill is going to make health insurance premiums go up an extra 10%, but you're not going to start paying that higher rate until 2019, after the election. And a lot of people are going to see their paychecks get a little bigger in 2018, the election year, because of lower withholding taxes. That's when your taxes are going to go to the roof, and you're going to end up paying more money for your health care. This is what's going to happen. This is what's going down. And yeah, the American people have been played. 
But because of middle class deductions that have been taken away, those same people may find themselves paying more when they file their taxes in April of, say it with me, 2019, after the election. Republicans know this bill is bad for most Americans, and they are counting on keeping the real impacts hidden until after the 2018 elections. Trump's delay in signing it is just the latest proof. Him and his billionaire friends are laughing their asses off because we're in the streets murdering each other over important stuff, mind you. You know, people being disrespected, racial profiling, racial discrimination, subjugation, uh, just, just everything. Racist cops killing unarmed black people. All of that's important. All of it is. The educational system, every, all of it is important. But dividing our attention and trying to give everything equal play is probably the best way to go about paying attention to everything. You gotta notice this shit like this. You gotta have more interest in politics. Because when we don't have an interest in politics, the government does this kind of shit to us. And they'll continue to do it because people don't have an interest in politics. It's boring. You know what I'm saying? And it is. But the more you know, the better informed you are, the smarter the choices and decisions you can you'll make. See, these hillbilly white supremacists aren't making smart choices because they're gassed up on emotion because they think Trump is like them. And they're going to support him. They're going to ride with him until he screws them. But they're too stupid to see it now. These are some of the people that could actually stop his reign of assholishness in the White House. They could actually stop it. These are the people that supported him overwhelmingly. If they pull their support back, it might do everybody some good. Because this isn't going to discriminate. This tax bill isn't going to discriminate. It's going to affect the American people because the quote-unquote upper class feel like they're better than the rest of us anyway. They don't care about your race as long as they're good. They don't care if we tear each other apart in the streets. Just you gotta know when you're getting played, man. You gotta know. And, and the only way you can know if you're getting played is to keep your ear to the streets. In every aspect of that. But what you guys gonna do, man, for 2018? Plan this. And it's about to get real rough. Real soon.